Speaker, as to how they vote, Mr. Speaker. I'd want to seek your indulgence and direction because whether somebody votes that direction or the other direction is their right and they should be protected. And Mr. Speaker, even the other day, we voted on Konza City uh, bill and those who voted against it are being profiled, Mr. Speaker. And if profiling people as per the way they vote is a thing to go with, Mr. Speaker, I want to remind you that uh, the side of the minority never voted for you. They actually walked out when we were voting for you. So if we have to live with conscience, Mr. Speaker, we should always be remembering that, Mr. Speaker. We are not voting machines, but people who vote with their conscience. As I stand to support uh, this uh, motion, Mr. Speaker, I want to say about 18, 18 days ago, Kiambu County received the first disbursement of this year's budget of shillings one billion. Mr. Speaker, in 12 days, Kiambu County will receive another 978 million from this. Um, what is the point of order, Senator Ledama? Mr. Speaker, I think it's important. I rise on a point of order on statement of facts. I think um, is a... What standing order are you? I think it's one, statement 105. Mr. Speaker, the distinguished senator, I think is a member of finance committee. He's not. And if he's not a member of finance, is it in order for him to mislead the public that funds can be released without being passed in this house. This is when we are debating the disbursement schedule. The only time that Treasury can be able to release money for this financial year is when this house has already approved the disbursement schedule. I believe the money that he's talking about, and he can correct us, is for the previous financial year. But if indeed Treasury released money for this financial year before this House approves this disbursement schedule, then I, I don't know what we, are, what we are doing. So, Mr. Speaker, if the distinguished senator can correct his statement so that it doesn't mislead the public, so that we'll know what we are doing here. Because I was prepared to debate this disbursement schedule for the financial year 23-24, if Treasury has already dispersed that money, then I have no business de debating it, because then I'll be just be rubber stamping something that has already been done. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes. Mr. Karungo. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the government cannot wait when we have mandamanos outside there interfering with the running of county governments, interfering with the running of government projects, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Senator Karungo, just uh, take your seat. Let me, let me, let me get this uh, over and done with. The point of order raised by Senator Ledama is as follows. Uh, and it is a it's not a point of order really directly to the senator who was on his floor, uh, uh, on his feet. The senator for Kiambu, while commenting, said that um, the government has released all the monies meant for last financial year and proceeded to release the first tranche meant for July. That is what he said. Is that therefore a statement of fact? Because under Standing Order 105, Senator Ledama rose to confirm if indeed that is a statement of fact. If it's not, then he'll call you to order as being disorderly. So leave out the issue of the mandamano, leave alone that long history 
and just stick to that. I think we'll make great progress in this matter. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I talked about Kiambu. I am the senator of Kiambu. By him questioning about my county, I did not talk about Narok, Mr. Speaker. I said Kiambu has received one billion by 15th. And in 12 days, Kiambu is going to receive another 978 million, Mr. Speaker. So I don't know his interests. I'm talking about my county, Mr. Speaker. I'm talking about I'm talking about Kiambu, Mr. Speaker. Order, 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 senators. Order, senators. Order, senators. You know, let us not mix things here. Okay. Senator Ledama, Senator for Kiambu, has said whatever he stated is factual. You've rose on a point of order to challenge him on that and he has stood and said indeed it is factual. What I've said is concerning Kiambu and Kiambu did receive all the money is meant from last financial year and on the 15th Kiambu received this much and he stated that that is factual and therefore your point of order as far as 105 because you challenge him to the other limb of your point of order is if that is so if the government can then release money before we debate this particular motion and that is not something that uh, Senator, the Senator for Kiambu can bear the brunt. His was to confirm that yes, what I've said is true. My county received this much on this particular date. Whether the government is doing that illegally or otherwise, as you are putting it, it's not his concern. His concern is I received this money. Yes, yes, Senator, yes. Mr. Speaker, the framers of the Constitution established three arms of government to allow separation of powers and to in be able to institute a check and balance system. Mr. Speaker, this House passed the County Allocation of Revenue Act 2023. And in that act, the law also gives this House the power to be able to approve the cash disbursement schedule. So, Mr. Speaker, if he's indeed leaving aside, setting aside the issues of Kiambu, Narok, or interests whatsoever that uh, the distinguished senator was talking about, if indeed the government, the executive, the Ministry of Treasury dispersed money without the approval of this House, it is a matter that should concern this House, Mr. Speaker. So, when I rose here, to request for that to be substantiated, the best, Mr. Speaker, that can help this House is for the distinguished senator to table the facts that Treasury has indeed released that money so that it can be able to be part of the, uh, of the Hansen, that Treasury released money before this House approved that. It is very simple, Mr. Speaker. It is not a matter of interest of Kiambu. Of course, I'm interested in Kiambu because it's part of Kenya. But I'm also interested in ensuring that all the 47 counties receive money approved by this House. Mr. Speaker, the Senate plays a critical role. This is a bill that originates from this House. The cash disbursement schedule cannot be originated from the National Assembly. The Division of Revenue Bill will be originated from the National Assembly. But when it comes to the issue of the cash disbursement schedule, it comes out of here because we are now dividing part of our 385 billion, which, are, which is going to the counties. So, Mr. Speaker, I'm rising on an issue of statement of fact 
and the importance of an ensuring fiduciary to the rule of law. That is my essence of rising on that point of order. It is not on whether, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate, Mr. Speaker, you trying to correct or maybe put certain things in order, but it is also concerning to me when a law is broken, you cannot apply the law retrospectively. In this case, if we sit here and we debate and we approve this cash disbursement schedule, then of course we'll be doing so retrospectively because it, they, it has already been overtaken by events. So, Mr. Speaker, that is my greatest concern. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Senator Ledama, I carefully gave you that uh, opportunity and uh, listened to you attentively. Now, when you raise on a point of order, it presumes that the Senator speaking, according to you, is disorderly and you want to call him to order, and therefore you rise on a point of order. Now, when the Senator for Kiambu rose to speak, he stated that in Kiambu County, all the monies meant for that county for last year was received. He proceeded to say the monies meant for July, the July tranche was also received. To that extent, he's not out of order. Your main concern, which is a valid concern, Senator Ledama, is the second limb of your point of order, which cannot then be attributable to the Senate of Kiambu. When you rose to say, I'm concerned, because these monies that are supposed to be disbursed this financial year ought to be disbursed after the Senate has debated this particular motion that we are debating now. So how come Kiembu has received its July share? That is not for the Senate of Kiembu to respond. The person to respond to that concern is Treasury. The Senator for Kiambu merely said, we have received. The person who is responsible for that disbursement is actually the Treasury. So, Senator Ledama, this is what I could advise you. You can, now that you have been told that Kiambu has received its disbursement for July, which disbursement can only have come from the Treasury, and according to you, it ought not to have done that until Senate has debated this matter, then you can bring that matter to the door of Treasury. <laughs> Senator Ledama, I am making my observation and giving directive in this matter. You know you cannot debate the chair. So my advice to you, Senator Ledama, having notice from Kiambu that it has received its share for July before Senate has debated this matter. Take this war straight to where it lies, Treasury. Senator Ledama, so you can do that by way of seeking a statement to ask Treasury, why did Treasury release these monies before the Senate debated it? That cannot be handled by the Senator for Kiambu. It is so directed and we move in that manner. Senator for Kiambu, proceed. Proceed, proceed. Senator Mogheni, what is the question?